Why am I always hungry? Good morning, guys. Today, we are still in Rome. We are going to go to the Colosseum today. We're going to see some catacombs. And then I think we're going to go to a cathedral. So this is what I'm wearing. In the cathedrals, you have to cover your shoulders and your knees. So I have these from Abercrombie. They're like little orange trousers. I also have like this button down. It's really hot outside. So I'm not going to put it on until we get into the cathedral just because I don't want to sweat. And the Colosseum is outdoors. But I brought this to cover up my shoulders and my arms. I'm currently putting my shoes on. It's a big, I don't even know where, oh. Right here. I was like, where are my socks? It's a big walking day, so obviously I'm wearing like comfortable shoes. We walked a lot yesterday, over 20,000 steps. And the fact that we spent half of the day too on a bus to get to Rome is insane. But our tour guide was telling us that they have a lot of really strict laws in the Colosseum or not laws, rules, which makes sense. She was like explaining to us why, like how some kids like carved their name into the walls of the Colosseum, which is just absolutely horrible. So they have really strict laws about like bringing in big bags. You can't bring in any sharp metal objects, which should I take my keys off my keychain, Brock? Cause like it's an, a key technically a sharp metal object. Wait, I'm gonna angle you down so I can put my shoes on. She was also saying that there's laws about like bringing in big bags. So I'm kind of nervous that like they'll turn away my purse that fits my camera. And then she was saying that you can't bring tripods. So I'm gonna do some montage footage of of today and maybe I'll try to like record some of the audio on my phone too but I'll bring my camera when we get back because we're going to Coliseum and then we have lunch and then straight after we have the catacombs. Do you know what cathedral we're seeing? No idea. No. I like I know the name but I'm blanking on it which is fine. I'm gonna record that all on my phone so it'll be cool montage footage. I've been to the Coliseum before. I went very very beginning of 2020 before everything obviously happened and it was so cool that I'm really excited to go back. I'm excited for Brock to see it for the first time. I don't know what else to say. I, is there anything else that I'm missing? I want to get breakfast. Um, we're about to go get breakfast. Our hostel has like these little like grab and go little cards that you can get free breakfast. So we're about to do that, but I'm excited to have a really good day in Rome. Excited to take you guys with me. Let's do it. So we went to the Coliseum first off and it was so hot outside. We were all like dripping in sweat and we all had to dress pretty modestly because we were going to St. Paul's, like I said, and everyone kind of communally agreed that it was just like so hot. Like I was dripping in sweat. I like felt so lightheaded and dizzy because it was so hot outside and we were walking so much. And then we got lunch at the Jewish ghetto. And then after that, we went to the catacombs. I wanted to record it, but I wasn't allowed to. Like you were not allowed to take photos or videos there, which obviously I wasn't going to take photos or videos when you're not allowed. 
allowed to but think of it as like really narrow hallways and then like like imagine like dirt walls i don't know what the walls are made out of and then they just had like horizontal holes in them i like i don't know how to describe it it was kind of spooky and creepy it was really cool to see that's where they buried dead bodies back in the day and then we went to st paul's and i don't know if i've been there before because it looked oddly familiar i think maybe last time i went to rome i went there but i honestly don't know it was beautiful it was stunning that was the last couple clips that you guys saw and then we bust back to the hotel and we were all so tired i think the heat like drained us all i was exhausted i was like falling asleep on the bus and so we got here and we we're like okay we're gonna take a nap we didn't get to take any photos at the coliseum because we got there late because of traffic and i obviously really wanted photos so we were gonna like take a nap and then we were gonna go back to coliseum take some photos get some dinner blah 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 it is now 11 p.m i slept until 10 which is gonna screw me over for tomorrow because i don't know if i'm gonna be able to sleep tonight and we have to wake up tomorrow so i think my whole schedule is gonna be off now which is fine i feel like i really needed the sleep because we were just so exhausted from this trip or from today because it was just so hot outside everyone was like going in every little corner of shade there was pounding water and then it started raining we were like what just happened so the beginning half of the day when we toured the coliseum was so hot and there was barely any shade so keep that in mind but it was beautiful i've been to the coliseum before and i'm glad that i've been to it before because i feel like i might not have appreciated it as much because i was just sweating so much speaking of that i'm gonna drink some water but I feel really bad that I slept until 10 p.m. Because now we didn't get dinner or anything. We might get gelato because that will definitely be open. But a lot of the stuff closes at 11. And it is 11 or 10.54. So that's okay. That is the update for today. Sorry I didn't vlog too much. I got a lot of montage footage. Tomorrow will most likely be like today where I get mostly montage footage. Because we're going to the Vatican. And you can't like bring in like big bags. So I can't bring in my purse to put my camera in. But I'm really excited to see it. I haven't seen it. Last time I went to Rome, the person I was with had already been to the Vatican, so she was like, I want to go again, and I was like, okay. So I'm excited to go see it. I'm just really embarrassed I slept that much. I'm not gonna lie. You can like literally see it on my face. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to sleep a little bit tonight. Who knows? But it was a really cool day. We saw a lot of really awesome things. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Today is our last full day in Rome. I just have to say, I feel snatched. This dress is from Abercrombie. It's kind of like a midi length dress. I feel like they cut it so well that it makes your waist just like <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna brush all my curls because I haven't done that yet. But today's our last full day in Rome. We are up bright and early for the Vatican. I have no idea if this day is included with yesterday's vlog, but if you guys watched yesterday's vlog or you saw yesterday's vlog in this, I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, we slept a lot during the day, so I didn't sleep very well last night. I'm exhausted and I don't drink coffee simply because I don't like the aftertaste. I'm really weird with the aftertaste of things. And like, I'm not one of those girls that's like, I don't like coffee in the middle. And I'm like one of those girls that's like, I wish I liked coffee. I just simply don't, okay? But I asked Brock, I'm like, can you please get me like whatever smallest size a coffee that has a lot of caffeine in it because i am so tired but we are going to see the vatican today don't worry i'm bringing something to cover my shoulders if you guys don't know entering the vatican you must have your shoulders and your knees covered so that's why i'm wearing like this midi dress i wanted to wear one that didn't have a slit in it because i was afraid the slit would like show my knee like with a blur of air a blur of air i don't know guys i'm tired i've had the best time but just traveling this much and doing this many things just kind of wears a person out but again this dress she's a moment. I feel so pretty in it. I'm trying to find the best way to pose. I'm really excited to see the Vatican today. I hope that we can go back to the Coliseum and take some photos because like I said yesterday, we slept for a really long time during the day because we were just so tired that we didn't really get to see a ton of things during the day. We are supposed to meet our tour director around like 7 o'clock, 7.10 and it's 6.55. So I woke up at 6 because obviously it took some time to get ready. Let me put my shoes on. I'm wearing, why am I showing you my socks? I'm not like a feet person, so this is awkward. Obviously, when you're walking around this much, oh, this sock has a hole in it. Nope, 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 nope. When you're walking around this much, you obviously want to bring comfortable shoes. And today, when I'm at the Vatican, I'm planning on doing what I did yesterday, which is doing like montage footage because you can't bring big bags into the Vatican. I think I already said this, but just to reinforce the idea, you can't bring big bags into the Vatican. So I'm not going to bring my camera. I'll just bring my phone and do the montage footage, which is what I've been doing a little bit. I'm really excited to see it. It's a little bit further out, so we have 
a bus ride there. I'm pretty sure that we're not taking the train and I really hope that I can sleep on the bus, but I'm kind of one of those people that's like once I'm awake, I'm awake. Also when I'm in the Vatican, I'm gonna like make sure this is like pulled up a little bit just to be respectful. I also wanted to show you guys, I feel like I might have talked about this. Oh no, do you guys know when like the crease of your sock is like on the bottom of your foot? I'm gonna have to fix that. This thing is great. I'm not gonna turn the light on in the bathroom because of the fan, but there's obviously no counter space. So that thing is literally incredible. I don't know why, but I'm really out of breath. So I'll see you guys at the Vatican. Start of the end Here comes your white night Got a foot on the edge Looking over the ledge And everything will be just fine Turning inside out Falling out of time If it's the final story It's death and glory And tomorrow the sun will rise And we'll start over again This morning we walked through the Vatican. I obviously covered up a little bit, but we went through the Vatican. It was so cool. We saw all um, the art. We saw the 16th, 16th Chapel, but I obviously didn't record that because you're not allowed to take photos or videos. Are we getting sprayed by something? But it was absolutely beautiful. And then we went into St. Peter's and there was like mass going on. And then we went to lunch with two girls in our group. You said left. That's straight. <laughs> and then now we're walking to the Colosseum. The two girls that we have lunch with are doing a tour of the Pantheon and we're gonna go to the Colosseum and take some photos. I'm putting my little button down like this so I don't get sunburnt on my shoulders, but today's been a really cool day. I'm excited to see the Colosseum again and take some cutie photos. So we made it to the Colosseum. That was like, oh, hello. Like two seconds after I stopped vlogging, but this is like the back of the Colosseum. I'm like, you can see where they have like all the construction going on. You can't really see it. Wait, is this not the Colosseum? <laughs> I don't think this is the call. This is definitely not the call scene. That's so embarrassing, you guys. These are some ruins that we saw yesterday. You can't really see because all the cars are here. Hello, everyone. Long time, no talk. I feel like a horrible vlogger. Like, horrible. Like I said this morning, I wasn't going to bring my camera because I wasn't sure if I was allowed to bring it into the Vatican. Turns out I was. So a lot of people with bigger cameras. But better shape than sorry. I didn't want to lose you. We went to the Vatican. We first toured basically the museum with all the art, all the pieces that they collected. It was stunning. It was crazy how much they had. There were certain places that we weren't allowed to record and take photos in, which is totally fine. But oh my gosh, it was incredible. I'm like so upset that I didn't get to go last time that I was in Rome, but I'm so glad that I went this time because I just, my jaw was absolutely dropped with how huge it was and then we got to go into st peter's i always got st peter's and st paul's mixed up but st peter's is within the vatican or it's like next to the vatican it's something like that i still don't know everything and i don't want to say anything incorrectly so if you guys know 
please comment it I, i'd love to be educated but it was amazing it was huge i had a really great time so then we were gonna go to this pizza place our tour guide basically how ef works is you have like a tour director she's the one that helps you brings you to all the different cities helps you go to the metro like all that stuff and then they have a local tour guide we had a local tour guide that brought us to the vatican and she had like 10 years of education about michelangelo it was insane the amount of knowledge that that woman has was incredible and so she recommended us this pizza place it was like the best neapolitan pizza in rome and then they were not open for like an hour so we we're like okay we're gonna go somewhere else we found a place that was like so cute it was kind of like a touristy restaurant that had closed because of covid and then new owners bought it and they had just reopened like less than two months ago and i finally got protein if you guys don't know there's really not a lot of protein options here in italy at least like when i was in florence and when i am here in rome like i have only seen chicken in one restaurant so i got a salad with chicken the people were like very confused our waitress was american and she was like i lived in germany for a couple years and then i just moved here they hired me because i speak english and german and we were like can we get chicken on our salad and then brock was like can i get chicken on my pasta and she's like look the people in the back the chefs are gonna be like no absolutely not so i got salad and three sides of chicken because i wanted to get him a side of chicken and then i wanted to double my chicken because i just have had no protein and i feel like my body is not functioning well because of it clearly in america like the weights that we eat food is just completely different than here which is totally fine i'm enjoying the culture and trying to immerse myself as much as possible but i also felt like my body like craving protein and like becoming weak so i got a salad with chicken it was amazing very glad that i got that and then with our two friends that we made on the trip they're both solo travelers and they became friends and then we became friends with them and we walked because they had a tour of the pantheon and so we walked with them there and then we walked to the coliseum and then we took the metro back here and now we are here i showered because we were just dripping in sweat it's been pretty hot in rome which is completely fine it's hotter in arizona than it is here but in arizona like you don't walk places you don't you don't do that so you pretty much just stay inside your air-conditioned house and car like the most you walk is like from your car to target like that's about it so it's been like a lot but it's also been nice so i wanted to shower and just like get all the sweat and grossness off of me i haven't told anyone yet that i make youtube videos no one knows and i'm not trying to be like this like Hannah montana secret double life like making it a big deal it just like hasn't come up in conversation and like i'm not someone to be like oh by the way i have 400,000 subscribers and i make youtube videos that like that's just not the type of person that i am like youtube is a huge part of my life but it's a part of my life it's not my whole life it's not who i am it's a part of who i am so it hasn't come up and so i feel like i should just tell people but i don't know how to tell people in like a non awkward way because i want to like vlog and bring my camera certain places but i couldn't but all the places that we went to today was like right after the vatican so i didn't even have my camera and we didn't have time to come back and get it so no matter if people knew or not i wouldn't have had my vlog camera but no one knows brock and i are placing bets on like at what point in time is it gonna come up in conversation and people are gonna know we'll find out but um the two girls that we became friends with they're both our age they both graduated college like from different places they were both solo travelers like i said and they asked us they were like we got lunch with them and then they were like do you want to go get dinner with us we were thinking of getting pizza and eating it on the spanish steps and we were like absolutely i think we're gonna do that for dinner tonight actually after we came back from the coliseum it was super sweaty we were super hot like in the direct sun like just dripping sweat on the metro just like face just dripping in sweat under our mask we got gelato there was no lack of gelato places here not a single one and typically i'm more of like a chocolate peanut buttery kind of like rich ice cream i know that's not gelato but like ice cream type of person but i've been getting like fruity gelato like i got like a mixed berry the other day i got like a black cherry and cream one it's been so good so i think i'm on like a new grind for gelato but it's very refreshing the salad that i also got was really refreshing today and typically i wouldn't order a salad but again the chicken i don't really know why i'm like just rambling on and on about all these things but i'm really happy to be here it is 5 27 p.m and i think we're gonna go get dinner with them at like 7 30 ish so it's been a really good day so far some funny things actually that happened i don't know i'm like just thinking of all these really funny things i kept having to go to the bathroom because i kept drinking a lot of water and i was in this like public restroom and it was like a men's stall a woman's stall and like a sink in the middle and i was trying to wash my hand and there was this man waiting in line for the men's restroom because there was someone in there and i had no idea where to put my phone so i just like put it in my dress and then my flashlight turned on and this man goes oh <laughs> and i was like embarrassed also when we took the metro on the way back in the metro there's like a mall it was kind of crazy and then i heard my name and i was like is this a subscriber and it was the two girls that we had lunch with and i was like hey guys so it's been really cool we keep running into people on our trip so although rome is a big city at the same time it's not that big also there's four couples on our trip including us and 
our tour director was like that's not very common it's like i don't know if i've ever had this many like couples on our trip one or two of them is married i know for a fact one of them there's like i think 45 of us which is a really big group our tour director was saying like this is a huge group but she's like it's better to have a big group because you guys can do more things and you're more likely to find like a friend like someone to get along with whereas like a small group she was like the smallest group that i've ever had was like four people and it just didn't run as smoothly as you would think it would where was i going with that there's so many people it's been hard to like get to know everyone i still haven't memorized like anyone's name besides like a couple of people like there are some people i know so much about them because like we just like talk while we're walking places but i don't know their name i'm just so bad with names like i need to like visually see their name written out i don't know that's i think i'm just rambling here but but yeah i'm really excited i'm kind of getting hungry again why am i always hungry i'm also creating a list of things in my phone about like kind of culture shock things i wrote interesting things about italy it is this long oh you can't it's washed out but i think i'm gonna make a tiktok when i get home about like interesting things that i've seen about europe that was kind of like a culture shock so the very first one though on the list is the birds get so close to you like they will be like like this far from you like they don't care like the birds in america are like get away from me the birds here will like eat off your plate insane insane so yeah that's my update for right now sorry for the rambliness sorry for not bringing you guys along too much with me today but i've had a really great day so far and i'm glad that we went to the vatican and did all that stuff it was just overall awesome oh i also forgot sorry i keep, I keep thinking of things that we did we saw this like little shop and it was kind of like an alcohol shop like if you guys know what, like lemon cello is like they have like a bunch of little tastings of like different flavors of like alcohol the lowest alcohol percent they had was 27 the highest they had was 78 and i had this like chocolate shot and it literally tasted like chocolate syrup i also like a lemon cello shot but they're not like full shots like they were like a fifth of a shot a fourth of a shot if even but that was a really cool thing that we did i really want to oh my god I got... sorry so many things that I... I just should have brought, brought my camera along and no i'm just kidding i wasn't gonna risk it but at the vatican you can buy things and get them blessed and ef has like a thing with the vatican or at least they like i don't know but you can buy things and get them blessed and i bought like a little teeny tiny gold cross for like a necklace and it was 45 euros the lady kept trying to get me to buy ones that were like 300 400 250 and i was like i like the 45 euro one and then she was like oh like let's get you a chain and i was like okay because i wanted like a necklace like a little teeny tiny necklace that would be like right here the shortest chain they had was like here and it was a 250 euro chain it was probably like gold or something but i was like that's that's a little much that's a little much but the vatican can bless things and they have like something with ef so like they'll deliver it or like someone will pick it up and bring it to your hotel the next day so that's really cool i got my little cross i just got the pendant not the chain because i didn't want to pay for it but i got that blessed and it's coming here brock got like a little ornament for his mom i should have got my mom something but i kind of was running out of time sorry mom but yeah i think that's all the updates i have for you who knows i've been talking for like 45 minutes i'm just kidding not 45 minutes but it feels like 45 minutes also i don't know if you could see another thing that i'm talking about i don't know if you guys notice this but like when i'm with people i get so like uh, like i forget what i'm talking about but like when i'm alone like how brock's in the bathroom showering right now i just ramble for hours and hours but when i'm with people i like completely blank on everything that i'm saying so i'll get used to it i'll work on it but sorry if i've seen so like ugh, this whole time but yeah i'm excited i'm so happy that i got to catch you guys up and talk to you love you well i'm not saying goodbye but we're about to head out to dinner like i said we're gonna eat some pizza on the spanish steps i'm wearing my abercrombie traveler dress you guys know i love it so i'll see you guys soon.